there and welcome. My name is Professor Gore. Researcher of horror and I have come to realise that in our modern horrors we are shown a lot of unrealistic things such as fake blood, <laughs> fake teeth and even fake faces. <laughs> As you can see it's just a word of props and they are getting worse by the year. Films used to be about the audiences and imagination, however, we interpret different angles, different shades and lighting, jumping at the vast amount of sound effects, whereas now, with some research, we have learnt the truth of today's cinema, that is no longer the sound that emphasises the horror, it's now the blood. That's right, according to our interviewees, the more gore means the more horrific. So, you have always been in films, is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, as you know, we're dead, as you can tell. I'm pretty white, she's pretty dead and white. <laughs> with black eyes. And uh, we've been alive for a pretty long time. Been in many horrors, you know, as extras, zombies, and all that jazz. Uh, as soon as we already looked dead. Uh, we didn't really need the extra makeup. Well, we didn't used to, did we? Didn't used to, so you do now. Well, extra makeup would be an understatement now. It used to be great. The majority of the horror would be the suspense, you know, the running, the chasing, shadows, glintings of night. And do you think that's no longer the same? Definitely not. Now you need the fake blood, you know, the guts flying and spilling everywhere. A, don't do that, you've just popped it. That's not very good. No, we've just wasted, that's a lot of money you've just no, wasted. It oh, it's okay, it's all good. And uh, you need to actually physically see the horror, the blood everywhere, and it's just not fair on us dead people. Because we like staying within, well, certain intacts. And, um, yeah, do, do they actually need to witness, you know, being stabbed and stabbed? torturous things. It's as if people can't use their imaginations anymore. I mean, our brains are dead and we have better imaginations mm. than them. Let me just say that. They need the vast amount of the fake blood. I mean, seriously, that costs money, people. It does. It's very expensive. And it has to pour out the victim. They have to see the stabbing. The I'm dead to And I'm the slicing. And it's just, just not fair. Stop stabbing me. I'm <laughs> dead, for Christ's sake. It's so frustrating. Now we we're the ones that need the makeup, even though we're you know dead. They try and make us look alive before we're actually dead, and then they violently murder us, and then we're just expected. <laughs> it's quite rude. Actually. It is quite rude. They just expect us to carry on with our normal dead lives while we're just being brutally murdered. Well, undead lives. Really. Undead lives. Yeah, the undead lives. Then having the prop guy just you know throw loads of blood and fake guts. Leaving me on the floor, leaving her on the floor, leaving only one dead on the floor, covered in the sticky, nasty, gooey, gloopy nastiness. Just, it's just disgusting, and we don't want it. So seriously, people, we should just revert back to, you know, the good old-fashioned sound suspense of people chasing after us, and then all of a sudden we turn dead, and, yeah, horror will be back to horror. Well, that certainly is a lot to think about, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. And your very own footage, too. You're welcome. We, we filmed that. That is ours, and you know, we we used to like it before all the gore and the blood. But it's not just about our deadbeat opinions. No, no, everyone has their own opinions, I suppose. You know, you don't have to listen to us old farts. Especially you with the living brains out there. Yeah, you living uh, folks. All we got to say basically is a little message from us: enjoy your life, because otherwise you'll end up dead. And enjoy the good times, even the bad times, and even the gory times. Because you never know who's round the corner to get you. Exactly. Stabby stab. stab. Well there you have it, from the stars and decades, Gore has officially replaced the use of sounds to make us feel this horrible.